Hello everybody, and welcome to another video with me, Ro from Scalp One Stem. In this video, we're gonna discuss all of the items that you need in order to make your own phylogendron general all-purpose media, just using a still box and a pressure cooker. So let's get started. So first and foremost, you're gonna want a clear plastic tub. You want it to be clear so that you can see through it when you're working in it. And you want it to be large enough that you can comfortably put both of your hands in there and you have a little room to work. In this case, 62 liters, this is a nice size. So in order to seal it off, we're gonna go ahead and use plastic wrap. And that way we can create the still air tub. You're going to need a container that can hold one liter. Most of the measurements on what we're going to be using are geared towards one liter. It's one of my favorite sizes to make. It doesn't have to be a glass beaker, um, just anything that you can mix and hold one liter in. Because my container is not meant for measuring, I actually need a measuring cup. A Pyrex kitchen measuring cup works quite well for me. Any measuring cup will work. That way you can ensure you have the proper volume. You're going to need a scale. This is a standard food kitchen scale. And although it shows three decimal places, I'm sure that it's accurate to the second decimal place. And that's all I really need for what we're doing. I'm also going to want something to weigh the powder in. So a dish or a plate, they usually come with the scales. If not, you're going to have to make sure you get those as well. You're going to need a way to measure the pH. The media has a tendency to be acidic. I will be using an inexpensive meter. You can also use strips. You don't want your media to be too acidic or your plants won't grow. Now that you know the pH, you're gonna need to adjust it. I use hydroponics pH up and down. You can also use baking soda and vinegar. Baking soda would be the equivalent of pH up and vinegar would be the equivalent of pH down. So I feel that a stir plate is absolutely essential. I don't see any other way to evenly stir your media. So definitely a need. And once you have one of those, you need the stir bar to go with it so that you can actually stir your media. I will be using an induction compatible pressure cooker, so not aluminum, on an induction plate. I chose to go this route so that it can fit inside my sterile tent. Um, you can also use an Instapot. You're going to want to sterilize. Bleach and isopropyl alcohol are my go-tos. If you're only gonna choose one, I suggest bleach. It does stain clothing and personally smells worse, so some days I use the isopropyl only. Water, you're going to need water. Um, it has to be distilled or RO, meaning reverse osmosis water. You're also going to need aluminum foil, rubber bands, and a spray bottle. Next, let's discuss containers. I like to reuse glass jars such as spice jars. If you have access to baby food jars, those are a wonderful size as well. Mason jars are also a good option. The thing that you have to be conscious of when choosing a jar is what type of lid it has. It has to have a screw top lid and it cannot be the two piece ring system. You can purchase one piece plastic replacement lids online. The final items that you're going to need are the ingredients for your media, starting with sugar. Any sugar will do as long as it's pure sugar. You'll also need Marishigi and Skoog media with vitamins. You will need two plant hormones for the medium that we're making. The one is BA and the other is NAA, a gelling agent. I usually use agar but it requires boiling. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using Gelzan. 
I was able to find a medium that contained sugar, MS media, and a gelling agent, and I was able to find a media that contained sugar, MS media, and hormones in the concentrations that we'll be using, which is one milligram per liter BA and 0.1 milligram per liter NAA. However, I was unable to locate a medium that contained all of those ingredients. If you choose to purchase your hormones individually, you will need a pipetter in order to measure the small volumes that we'll be using. This 100 to 1000 microliter works just fine. And don't forget the tips. Finally, if you want to do some research, there are two books that I highly recommend. The first is Plant Tissue Culture, and the other one is Plants from Test Tubes. Neither of these books is particularly expensive, and they're relatively easy reading. You don't have to have a PhD to understand what's going on in there. So until next time when we actually make our media, happy planting!